Once upon a time in the Nightingale Kingdom, there lived a young and devoted couple named John and Marion. Next door lived a witch in a garden filled with magic lettuce, which would heal any illness. Marion, the young wife, was very ill, and her husband braved the danger of the witch to buy some of the lettuce. The witch refused. Our story begins at midnight in the witch's garden. No. I've caught you. Oh, let me go. Please, please, let me go. Trying to steal my lettuce, were you? After I told you, you couldn't have it. I have quite a score to settle with you. I wanted to be honest, but you wouldn't let me be. And my little wife says she will die unless she has some of the magic lettuce. A likely story. Oh, have pity on me, witch. I didn't want to steal it. I tried to buy it first. Please understand and forgive me. Well, you were honest with me. All right. I'll make a bargain with you. What is it? You may have all the lettuce you want if... if you will promise that should you ever have a daughter, you will give her to me for my own. Oh, no. I couldn't make that promise. Very well, then. That was your only chance, and you refused it. Now I shall put a curse on you and your wife. Prepare from henceforth. No. Don't hurt my little wife. I promise. I swear our first daughter will be yours. Very well. I have your word and I'll hold you to it. Now take the lettuce and go back to your wife and tell her the good news. Oh, my sweet, sweet baby. Look, John, look how she wrinkles up her funny little nose. <laughs> what shall we call her, Marion? Something that goes with her beautiful golden hair. Look, dear, how tiny she is. And even now her hair touches the ground. The name must be as beautiful as she is. But what shall it be? I'll settle that. What? You didn't expect to see me so soon, did you? What are you doing here, witch? You promised your first daughter to me. I've come for her. That's what I'm doing here. Oh, no, witch, don't take my baby. Why, a bargain's a bargain. You got the magic letters you wanted. I was to have your daughter. She's mine. And I know what I shall name her. Rapunzel. That means little salad, for that's how I got her. If you hadn't wanted the salad, I shouldn't have had her. You shan't have her, you shan't. You can't take our baby, I won't let you. No, all right, you brought this on yourself. Mother of witches, attend me. Turn these people into stone until I have taken the child that belongs to me away. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, come here. Yes, Godmother, what is it? Listen to me. Tomorrow you pack your basket, comb out your hair and braid it tightly and be ready to go with me. But, Godmother, you know I can't manage my hair by myself. No, I'll help you. I don't intend to have it trailing over the meadow and have everything you want packed in your basket. For you'll be gone a long time. Where are we going? To a high tower I have built where there'll be no stairs for busybodies to climb and no prying eyes to interfere. But how can I go up and down from the tower without stairs? You can't. That's the reason I'm taking you there. And you'll stay there until I see fit to bring you back. Until then, you'll see only me. Why do you punish me as if I'd done something terrible? <laughs> I'm going to turn you into a powerful witch. Oh, no. And there's a reason why you have such long golden hair, too. You see, you climb up first on a rope ladder, which I'll take away once you're up there. And after that, when I come to see you, I shall stand below the window. When I call, you will let down your long braids and I shall climb by them. Oh, how awful. Why do you do this to me? Because I know what is best for you. 
Now, pack your basket and start braiding your golden hair. Oh, no, please, Godmother. Another sound out of you, and I shall beat you until you can't stand. Do you hear me? Yes, Godmother. Now then, get ready for the tower. You're free. You aren't locked in a cage as I am. Oh, well, if the birds find comfort in their song, perhaps I can, too. Oh, oh there, dear one. Oh. Listen, Edward. Do you hear that lovely voice? Yes, I do, Your Highness. But I see no one. Where does it come from? By all the gods I intend to find out. A voice like that must belong to a very beautiful girl. Listen. Look, Your Highness. There's a tower that reaches far above the trees. Why, oh, so there is. Strange we've never seen that before. Sire, listen. The voice comes from the tower. Right, it does. And how sweet it is. Edward, I must know the possessor of such a voice. Shh, there's someone coming. Creep in these bushes, Your Highness. Let's see what happens. Perhaps we'll find out something important for us to know. They tear a person to pieces with their thorns and stickers. Rapunzel! Rapunzel, let down your hair that I may climb without a stare. Why, Godmother? Are you coming up to the tower? Certainly I am. Let down your hair and stand still, idiot. This ladder is bad enough to climb without you weaving around. I want you to stop that thing. Hold still. Your voice echoes all through the forest. No one is to know where you are. Here. That's a climb. Here. Here are your supplies for the month. Did you understand what I've said? Stop that singing. Godmother, I shall die if I can't sing. I would want to. There's nothing else to live for. Oh, yes, there is. You'll live and learn to work enchantments and mix magic potions. <laughs> and you'll grow old and ugly like me. Then I won't care who sees you, for nobody will want to. Now, let down your hair. I must get back to my hut and dig in the garden. Oh, why did you adopt me? Why don't you kill me and be done with it? I enjoy thinking what an excellent magic worker you'll be. I won't be a witch. I won't. Stand still now. And remember, if I hear you singing, I shall come back and beat you. If you do, I won't let down my hair for you to climb on. Even if I stop. <laughs> and I shall sing to you, wicked, wicked woman. I won't stop. Oh. I'll fix her for this disobedience, wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> She'll pay for this. Wait and see. The old woman is gone, Your Highness. I can hardly believe my ears and eyes. Did you see that lovely face as the girl leaned out of the window? And those unbelievably long braids of golden hair. Well, she's exquisite. Well, we've stumbled on the strangest thing I've ever heard of, Your Highness. Edward, do you know what I intend to do? <laughs> Knowing you as I do, I can guess. You're quite right. Tonight, when it's dark, I shall return. I shall call as the witch did, and then we shall see what happens. I rather imagine that's what you do. You'll come with me and be the lookout to warn me if the old hag returns. Yes, sir. I don't want harm to come to the girl. Come, we'll return at dusk. <laughs> Having imprisoned the lonely Rapunzel in a tower, the witch reaches her by climbing up the long golden braids of hair. But one day, a prince rode by and heard Rapunzel singing. He hid in the bramble bushes, saw the witch climb up, and saw Rapunzel's beautiful face as she leaned out. He was determined to investigate. It is now dark as the prince and his friend Edward stand at the foot of the tower. What are you, Highness? Make your voice light. Rap. 
Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair that I may climb without a stair. My godmother, what are you doing here? You've never come to me before after dark. And your voice, what happened to it? The night air makes me hoarse. Let down your hair instantly. Oh, oh, it pulls. It seems you're heavier than you've ever been. Oh, please, try to be careful. I'm glad you... Who are you? Please, little lady, don't be frightened. But I am. Oh, go quickly, please. The witch will beat me. Go away. Please, beautiful lady, I wouldn't have harm come to you for all the wealth in the kingdom. Please believe me and let me talk quietly with you. Won't you? I can't be frightened when I hear the gentleness of your voice. But how did you know I was here? I heard you singing. And the beauty of your voice alone was enough to intrigue me. Oh, little lady, what are you doing shut up like this? Who are you? What's your name? Please trust me and tell me about yourself. I do trust you. My name is Rapunzel. My godmother is a witch and... Oh, sir, the most dreadful thing of all. She intends to make one of me, too. How unspeakably awful. It mustn't be. You mustn't stay here any longer. It's not fair. You have a right to a happy life of your own. You're kind, but you don't know the power of my godmother. She would kill me before she'd let me go. Who are you, please? Oh, Mademoiselle, permit me. I am Prince Terence. Oh, a prince, did you say? A real prince? To the rest of the world, perhaps. But to you, lovely one, just an ordinary person who kneels at your feet and kisses your hand in tribute to your perfect beauty. Oh, my dear, I want to be your friend and help you. It's no use. The witch would find out and she would do terrible things to both of us. How can we get away from her? She'll kill us both or enchant us if she finds out. I can't have harm come to you. What shall I do? Leave that to me, Rapunzel. Tomorrow night I shall bring a rope ladder. Then I'll adjust it, help you, and we shall escape. Will you be ready? Yes. Oh, how happy I shall be to get away from here. And with me, my dear. And with you, my prince. Bless you. Until tomorrow night, then. I hate to use this golden hair, but I must. Just once more, you must endure it, my dear. I don't mind. What a lucky man I am. Be ready, my sweet, and we shall leave this hideous place forever. Good night. Good night. My heart is singing with happiness. Good night, my dear. <laughs> Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair that I may climb without a stair. I didn't expect you, Godmother. It's almost dark. I, I was just about asleep. Won't you come back tomorrow? Give me the ladder instantly. How dare you question me? Very well, Godmother. There it is. Yeah. Oh, Please, be careful. You're pulling my hair terribly. I mean to. I heard strange whisperings in the wind, and I came to find out what they were. Help me over the window. That's better. What's this? Why is your basket packed? And you're all wrapped up. What's going on here, Rapunzel? Why, why, I... I was I'm... right. You have tried to trick me. A screech owl called three times last night to warn me that's what he meant. Come here to me. Look at me. What's happening here? Oh, Godmother, I dare not lie to you. But please, I beg of you, please let me go. Let me be happy with my prince, please. Oh, you try to deceive me. Me, a witch who knows your every thought as soon as you do. Very well, I'll teach you to deceive me. Give me those scissors. Oh, don't hurt me. What are you going to do? I'll show you. No, no, no. no. And there go your golden <laughs> brains. Oh, you've got off my hair. How can you climb to save me now? <laughs> I'll show you how. And just wait until he sees who's holding these golden braids for him to climb. <laughs> oh, what shall I do? Oh, I don't know what if to do. If you want to live, keep still. Tell him to come up. And if you don't want him with a broken neck, say nothing else. I warn you. 
tell him to come up. Come up, my prince. Just once more will I use your lovely hair for a ladder, my dear. And then we shall... You don't seem happy, my lovely lady. What's wrong? Aren't you glad to go away? Aren't you glad this is the last... <laughs> Aren't you glad to see me? Quite a surprise, isn't it? Better stay on the windowsill. You'll be more comfortable. Get out of my way, old woman. I don't want to hurt you. No? Well, I'm different. Prepare to reach the ground more quickly than you came up. Huh? No! No, don't let him fall. It'll kill him. No! <laughs> now then, my fine young prince. Pick yourself up out of those thorns and brambles, if you can. Oh, beast, you wicked woman. Oh, my love, I'm coming to you. Don't jump, you idiot. You'll break your neck. Don't jump. Let me go. I'm coming, my love. I'm coming. Oh, my precious love. Are you all right? Where are you? I can't see you, Rapunzel. The thorns have blinded me. I can't see you. Please speak to me. Tell me you're all right. I'm all right. When my dear, your eyes, your poor blind eyes, and you did this for me. What do I feel? <laughs> tears? Are those tears from your eyes and mine, my dearest love? wicked woman, I could kill her. Oh, my beloved, I shall never leave you. Never. We will be married at once and I'll take care of you always. And my eyes shall see for both of us. Don't weep, Rapunzel. My face is wet with your precious tears. And just to know that you care for me, that you'll marry me. Rapunzel, my, my eyes. I'm not blind. I can see. You can see? Your tears falling on my eyes have healed them, my dear. Look at me. My eyes are well again. Oh, thank heaven. Thank heaven for this miracle. The miracle of love, Rapunzel. And the witch. That dreadful woman has failed in every wicked thing she's tried to do. Evil can never overcome good. And our love for each other has destroyed her power. She's the prisoner in the tower now, and she shall stay there until she changes her ways. She'll never see you again, my dearest. For within an hour, the wedding chimes at the castle will ring... And you shall be my queen. Come, my dear. To the ends of the world with you, my prince. <laughs>